welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says three coins are tossed hundred times and we get three heads thirty times, two heads twenty times, one head twenty times and zero head thirty times. When three coins are tossed at random, what is the probability of getting three heads, two heads, one head and a zero head? Before we move on to the solution, let's recall the formula to calculate the probability of an event E given by P E and this is equal to the number of trials in which E has happened upon the total number of trials. This is the key idea to be used for this question. Now we proceed with the solution. Now here since we have that three coins are tossed hundred times, so we have the total number of trials is equal to 100. Next, the number of times 3 heads appear is given as 30 times. So this is equal to 30. Then, the number of times Two heads appear is given as 20 times. So, this is equal to 20. Then the number of times one head appear is given as 20 times. So, this is equal to 20 Then the number of times zero head appear is given as 30 times. So this is written as equal to 30. Now when three coins are tossed at random, we consider even to be an event of getting three heads e to be an event of getting two heads e3 be an event of getting one head and e4 be an event of getting zero head. First we shall find the probability of getting three heads. Now since we have taken even to be an event of getting three heads, so we will find the probability of the event even. This is equal to the number of times three heads appear, that is 30 upon the total number of trials which is 100. So 30 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.3. Next we find the probability of getting two heads. Now E2 is the event of getting two heads. So probability of E2 is equal to the number of times two heads appear which is 20 upon the total number of trials that is 100. So 20 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.2. Next we find the probability of getting just one head. Now since we have taken E3 to be an event of getting one head. So probability of E3 is equal to the number of times 
one head appears that is 20 upon the total number of trials which is 100 so this is equal to 0 0.2 next we shall find the probability of getting zero head now we have taken e4 to be the event of getting zero head so probability of e4 is equal to the number of times zero head appear that is 30 upon the total number of trials which is 100 and this is equal to 0 0.3 so our final answer is probability of getting three heads that is probability of even is equal to 0 0.3 then probability of getting two heads is equal to probability of e2 that is equal to 0 0.2 then probability of getting one head is equal to probability of e3 that is equal to 0 0.2 and the probability of getting zero head is equal to probability of e4 and this is equal to 0 0.3 so this is our final answer this completes the session hope you have understood the solution for this question